Hello class, um, this is Mr. Doty and uh, this is just going to be a really short video. And what I want to do is I left this off of my video for this assignment. Um, so let me just show you what I ended up with. So uh, in my other video I showed you that um, you know we did a broken out section, right? And uh, anytime that you do a broken out section uh, you have to use a squiggly little line. Well, I've done them different ways. Um, let me see. Let me go pull up the... Oh, shoot. Oh, no! Oh, well, I can't find it, but that's okay. Um, basically, on this one, uh, I need to do a broken out section. So what I did here is I used what we call a sketch command. Now, you'll notice that each of these little lines are separate little lines. No, I didn't go in and draw those lines. Um, typically, what I do is, um, well, what I've done in the past, let's put it that way, because I always forget about the sketch command. Um, what I'll do is I'll go to polyline, and then if I'm doing a broken out section, I'll, uh, and I may actually turn off my object snaps, which I don't typically do, and and that's basically it, and we'll turn those back on, and um, then I just go in and trim off what I don't need, and boom. And then there is my broken out section line, you know, my short break line. Now there's another option that you can do, and uh, that's called the sketch command. So if you use sketch, then what you can do is you can do the same thing. Uh, and I'm going to go back and turn off my object snaps again. And what you can do is you can... And what it does is it makes a whole bunch of little line segments, which is kind of neat and cool and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, just wanted to show you uh, this little cool thing. And um, that's kind of how that goes. Uh, the other thing is, uh, while we're here and we're doing this, Really? Interesting. All right. So with either one of these, it doesn't matter, um, you know, whichever one I want to use. Uh, if I want to keep this one, I can keep this one. If I don't, uh, if I wanted to make that one, uh, I could use the join command, right? And I could join, I think, if it works. I could join all of these lovely guys right here into a solid line. Yay! And there we go. Okay, so now they're touching and it should work. So um, I use my join command and fix that. So either one of these is fine. So I'm going to get rid of this one because um, my main thing was kind of show you the sketch. And then what you would do is you would go to your hatch command. Of course, you know, you should be on the correct, which I don't even have one on this drawing, but that's okay. So, like, I'll have a hatch layer or a section layer, and you go to your hatch command. And on this one, you'll notice that it's really small. Well, that's because it's a metric drawing, and I need to change the scale. So I'm going to change the scale up to 25, and you'll notice that... It's not, you know, you should never have section lines that are parallel. So sometimes you'll have to mess with your angle. So I went to 30, and there's something different, and that'll work. Usually 45, you know, zero works because they start out at 45 because we're using the ANSI 131, or I'm sorry, the ANSI 31. And of course, you know, you can go in and hatch and use different patterns for different materials and so on. So anyway, this is the hatch, and this is your short break line using the sketch. Um, when you're done with your hatch, you click close, and there it is. So that's basically all I wanted to show you. Um, and it's not too long on video. Still probably longer than it needs to be, but hey, here you go. So, review. Sectioning, 
using hatch and short break line using the sketch command or like I said you can use a polyline command as well uh, I would just make sure to turn off of my object snaps that way um, you don't lock on to things you don't want to and it just makes it easier to kind of freehand it over so anyway have fun enjoy and we'll see you on the next one